Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to look at the new Ubuntu 2004 Focal Fossa, which was released today on April 23rd. We're going to run this from a live USB that I made on a micro SD card and I'm going to use my Dell XPS 13 9300 laptop which is a developer edition which came out not too long ago with the Ubuntu 18.04 version. So we're going to test this out and we're going to do some comparisons with uh, 18.04 and 20.04. We're going to make sure some things work on this laptop. All right, let's get into it. Okay, I got my micro SD card here. I'm going to insert that into the slot here for the reader. So I got that in there. So on this laptop, the first thing you want, want to do is uh, when you turn on, hit F2 to get into the BIOS because there's an option we have to enable first in order to be able to boot from the micro SD card here. So what you're going to want to do is go over to the system configuration menu, scroll down, So in the enable media card section here, the last option here, we're going to want to make sure this is check secure digital SD card boot. That enables us to boot from the micro SD card. So you apply those changes, you exit, and then when you boot it back up, hit F2 in order to get into our boot menu so we can select the SD card reader. So here you see uh, the options I have. Uh, I have Ubuntu off the hard drive. That's because uh, 1804 came with this laptop. But this last option, the SD device, this is what we want so we can get our live USB of Ubuntu 2004. So here we have some options. We can uh, go into sa uh, safe graphics mode or we can install it right away. But no, I I'm going to do the standard uh, boot test it out here. After a while we have uh, the logo, Ubuntu logo here in the progress. And this is going to take some time so I'm, I'm going to skip ahead. Okay now it's uh, going to check the disk make sure everything's okay. I'm going to let this run because this is the first time I've booted from this disk before so uh, but you don't have to watch this, so I'm going to skip ahead. Okay, it's completed its check, and now it's continuing to boot. So we're presented with this dialog here, so we can choose uh, the language and whether or not to try Ubuntu or install Ubuntu. So I'm going to go ahead and try Ubuntu and keep it on English. And now we see the focal faucet on the wallpaper background here, and it's nice purple scheme. It's nice to see that they removed the Amazon Web Launcher here. You can see that the icons here uh, also have a purple to, to orange colors here. Okay, we're going to look at the settings and check out the new window colors under appearance. We've got a new dark mode here. Let's try out. But first, let's try the light mode. You can see the you can see the title bar went to white. Go back to standard. Title bar goes back to gray. Now we go to the dark mode and the title bar and the main window are all gray. Next we're going to jump on over to displays. You can see that the default scale I either have 100 or 200 percent. But I have this option to turn on fractional scaling so let's check that out. That added three more options that added uh, 125, 150, and 175 percent, so increments of 25 percent. Let's see what 150 percent looks like. A little big for my liking. Let's take it down to 125 percent. That's not too bad, I can live with that. Connecting to Wi-Fi, no problems. But Bluetooth, I did have an issue trying to get my Bluetooth mouse working. I'm not sure if that is a problem just with the live USB image 
or if that's a problem with Ubuntu 20.04. Uh, in either case, I was unable to try to install any drivers or anything like that because you can't do that from the live USB. But uh, that's something to, to look out for. A new feature uh, is the Do Not Disturb setting for notifications, which has been added to the notification area, as you can see here. Ubuntu also uh, is now changing how it installs software, so now it installs apps from Snaps. Um, if you're not a fan of Snaps, or you just want to use the old versions or uh, other versions um, in the dev packages, you can always use app get or app to install from the command line, so not a big issue there. But one thing to show here is that the uh, interface has changed so you can select which channel you want to install from. You have choices of stable, candidate, beta, or edge. I can confirm the webcam still works along with the speakers and microphone. This version also comes with a newer kernel 5.40-21 support for the WireGuard virtual private network VPN has been added. The system menu on the panel has been updated. Now it features a suspend option and the settings, lock, and power buttons have been moved from the bottom line to their own lines in the menu. I'm going to test the suspend option now. No problems here. Compare this with Ubuntu 18.04. The windows have what looks like the standard color scheme here with the dark gray on the top and the white on the bottom. And if you go into settings and try to get the appearance here, there's no option to change it. In addition, when you look at the scale, you only have two options here, 100 and 200%. There's no other options in between, like on the new Focal Fossa. Also in the notifications here, you don't have that global do not disturb setting. However, Bluetooth does work on 18.04 right now for me. So you can see I can connect my Bluetooth mouth. So that is that I really hope that works in 20.04. Ubuntu 2004 Focal Fossa is a great looking release. It is a long-term support release, so it has five years of support going forward. But personally, I'm going to hold off just a little bit because this laptop in particular is supported by Dell. It actually has repos from Dell for updates, and I just got an update the other day and going to the Dell Archive canonical.com slash update slash disks I do see in addition to uh, Bionic there is also some focal uh, directories here which were just modified uh, recently so I, I know Dell's working on supporting focal fossa uh, so I'm going to give them a little bit of time to, to iron out some any bugs they might find so but I'll be looking forward to doing this upgrade. It looks like a great uh, Ubuntu release. If you enjoyed the video, smash that like button and consider subscribing to the channel if you want to see more content like this. Until next time, take care.